Hi, I am Savita and welcome to my sewing studio. In this video, I will show you cutting and sewing of the selva pants. Let's start. The measurements needed for selva pant is one is the full length. Full length is measure from your varying point on the waist till the floor from side of your body. That would be your full length. Mine is 37 inches. Second measurement is your hip round that is measure around your hip mine is 40 inches and third is the ankle round this is standard 14 to 16 inches so I'll take it as 16 inches if you do not want it loose at the ankle you can reduce it it's up to you now in in a salva there are two parts one is the waistband and the other is the leg part. This is the crotch. Waistband will have drawstring in the front or you can put an elastic. Now together that is waistband and the leg part would be your full length. So in this case it's 37 inches. Out of which the waistband height would be 7 inches which is standard for a medium person. If you are a small size person then make the waistband 6 inches. If you are large you can make it 8 inches. So 37 minus 7 would be 30 and that would be my leg part. So first we'll be cutting the leg part, but calculation of the waistband, we will keep it ready. Now, what is the calculation for the waistband? Height would be 7 inches plus 1 and a half inches for drawstring casing, that is to insert the drawstring. And another half inch seam allowance to connect the leg part to the waistband so total it would be 9 inches height and the length of the waistband to go around your waist would be your hip round plus minimum 2 inches of ease that is in this case if my hip round is 40 inches I will add another 2 inches that makes it 42 plus add 2 inches for the seams that is 44 right so keep this calculation ready before cutting the leg part now how the leg part is done is there is no paper pattern for salva pants we will be directly doing it on the fabric that's the reason I'm explaining on the paper first you'll fold the fabric in four layers this is the fold side and this is four layers of selvage and then on the fold side fold is towards you on the fold side come down by one and a half inches why we do this is it gives a better fall and on the other side come down by half an inch and draw a straight line from here you'll take the full length minus your waistband height in my case it is 30 inches that is full length 37 minus 7 inches 30 inches so this becomes my ankle on this line mark half your ankle round so if I'm taking 16 inches as my ankle round I'll mark 8 inches if you're taking 14 inches as your ankle round mark 7 inches okay and then on this line you'll mark half of this waistband measurement that you've kept ready. Don't add this 2 inches because that's the seam allowance. So 42 divided by 2 is 21. Now if, I, if you don't want too many pleats, you can reduce 4 inches from that measurement. So on this line you'll mark half of waistband measurement but as I don't like too many pleats I'll reduce 4 inches so I'll mark 
17 inches and at that point draw perpendicular line downwards this is a 90 degree angle on this line measure 8 inches which is standard and draw another line so this line is 8 inches long draw another line now from this point from this intersection line point go out by 2 inches and connect to the ankle with the straight line and at this point make the crotch shape that is at a 90 degree angle just draw a line and then blend it to this line so this is the crotch so this is how you will cut but before cutting the fabric you need to add half inch all around that is the seam allowance that is the fabric left after stitching so add half an inch all around and cut the fabric now once this is cut from the leftover fabric here you will cut your waistband you may not be able to get the waistband in one piece doesn't matter you can just join the pieces and get it to 44 inch length and 9 inches height now just to demonstrate suppose this is my waistband 42 inches plus 2 inches seam elements so this is how it will go around your body and there will be a drawstring here and these are my leg parts two of them and this is the crotch shape which will connect here to the waistband in the center now you see this excess this is what we will be pleating and getting it to the size of the waistband so you can make small pleats or big pleats but you have to get it to the size of the waistband so this is how it should be now I'll show you how to cut it on the fabric. 